As far as Bruno, uh, I recently put a, a retro interview with Bruno that my friend John Paz had done with him just before he died. And Bruno said in it that he may have not have, has been as popular everywhere as Hogan, but in Madison Square Garden, Philadelphia, and Boston, he was more popular than Hogan as well, far well, as crowd reactions uh, in the buildings. Uh, you experienced some of that. What did you think? Well, yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, it, it's not fair because, you know, what was it, Hannibal? Um, when Bruno was champion, the WWWF went from went from Maryland to Maine. It, they went from Maryland to Maine. It was all East Coast. So, um, you know, that's what Vince Sr., that, that was his territory. And then when Vince Jr. came in, he started going over all over all over the country. And Bruno, Bruno really, unless he got leased out, and there were times that happened, that 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 didn't that didn't happen. So in Bruno's day, yeah, he's right. And let's not forget something either. You know, the only reason why that that Zabisco and San Martino angle came came to be is because Backlund couldn't sell out the garden. So Bruno can. You know, Bruno sold out everywhere he went. So yeah, I mean, I I would for the time I'd say he was more popular than than Hogan. Yeah.